Hello and welcome to another episode of D-Ray Valley, where I'm doing my best to drive virtual locomotives without causing major disaster. Or do I? Anyway, before I begin, I'd like to remind you to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done that already, and follow up with bell button to turn on the notifications and stay up to date with my latest content. I would also like to encourage you to join my Discord server, where you can interact with me and other D-Ray Valley fans, talk about the game in general, share some cool mods, or just chill. You can find link in description down below this video. So, welcome back in yet another episode uh, of uh, our beautiful adventures in the valley. Uh, in today's episode, we are going to talk a little bit about a new addition to the game, which is the caboose. Um, the thing that was pretty much added in last week's patch. So, is there a lot of to say about the caboose? Well, you'll quickly find out. Anyway, uh, how this video will go. So I will start from cutting into the first material that I recorded, because um, it's like a third or fourth attempt uh, for me to, to actually record that. And I will show you how to actually get the caboose. Um, there will be a quick time lapse of uh, entire route from uh, from the place where you buy the key for the caboose up until we reach uh, the actual shed where the caboose is stored and then I will cut back to, to this video where we will perform a first job and I will tell you a few words about the caboose itself so sit back, relax and enjoy the show uh, let me just jump into the game. So as you can see, we are still during night time. It's pretty much half past five in the morning. Uh, so it's getting lighter. Oh yeah, we are getting some daylight. Fantastic. So where are we? We are currently at City Southwest, uh, which uh, just received a brand new addition to, to the whole station and that is a shop. So let's head uh, into, into this shop and let's obtain what we need because that's the place where you can get a key that will unlock a shed where Caboose is stored. So the shop is, well, in slightly different place where uh, from, from other stations. Uh, if you remember how various different stations are built, uh, usually you can expect to have a shop uh, somewhere near passenger platforms. Uh, City Southwest is different and, and the shop is located near the siding. Uh, so that's, that's the first difference. Uh, as you can see, we just reached the shop and there is, there it is, a big poster, Reginald's Garage Key. Yes, and, and that's our caboose. Well, not not ours, uh, or at least not yet, but uh, soon, soon. Uh, I promise I will show you where that is, and, and thanks to this video, probably you will be able to unlock your own. So let's head into the shop and let's obtain the key. Uh, so this shop is pretty much equipped, same as every other. Uh, you can get a uh, shunter, uh, quick guide, um, SH-282 quick guide, shovel, lighter, and most importantly, Reginald's garage key. So let's, let's get scanner. Let's scan the garage key. Let's, let's drop the scanner. We won't need it. So that is going to cost us $25,000. Is it worth it? Well, we'll see. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, let me just grab my wallet. As you can see, um, since last episode, I managed to make some money, uh, thanks to which I can actually obtain and afford a garage key. Yes, there we go. We got another key and our bill. Yeah, everyone hates bills. Let's drop it. Good, 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 good. Right, so now that we have key, uh, we need to find the actual garage. Uh, developers never stated where it is. However, if you've been uh, watching the video, 
that was released by Alt Future uh, last week. Uh, if you've been watching it carefully, there were some clues on how to find uh, the garage. Uh, at one point in the video, Evan, uh, who, who is uh, the author of, of such a video, was driving along one of the paths in, in the game and, and he happened to, to have his map opened. And I believe that's that's the location where I can expect to have uh, an extra siding where where I can actually find a caboose. Right, uh, let me set the junctions so that we can leave this station. And I'll probably see you when I get there. Right, so here we are, finally arrived uh, at, at the location, as you can probably see, there's Reginald's garage. Okay, so let's stop our locomotive and let's see what's inside, shall we? I have to admit that it looks much, much better than it looked on the video. However, when you stand in front of it, pretty much the scenery uh, is exactly the same as it was on Ivan's video. Uh, so yeah, it wasn't easy to, to make up uh, where it is. So let's look at the world map. Where are we? If you look closely, oh, uh, sorry, my bad. Yeah, so we are in southern part of the map, exactly in this square. I'm not sure if there's uh, that's B. No, that's that's C. Uh, is that going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? C seven in uh, in pretty much eight 
square if you count them one two three four five six seven square oh there we go yeah um whatever you you call it uh, that's that's pretty much the location just make sure that when you approach this junction you don't go too fast uh well let's say that when i found this shed for the first time i accidentally went the wrong way and that and that's pretty much how i found it and i literally crashed entire train into that door <laughs> Uh, it looked kind of hilarious, but unfortunately I didn't took any photo, uh, which which might have been a bad thing about me. Anyway, uh, eventually I found this shed in a hard way, I, I'd say. So now let's open it and let's see what's inside. So there we go. And here it is beautiful just look at it wow wow absolutely wow so it has a number caboose 793 uh it weighs 22000 kilograms pretty pretty heavy thing uh it is well the style of of it is is clearly from from like a wild west or um, old western movies uh it it has that interesting style so let's let's get inside right welcome back uh so uh, i hope you enjoyed uh, the first part of the video uh we we as you can probably see um we successfully retrieved uh, the caboose and right now we are back in uh, city southwest uh, i already lined up a new job for us so this is our train and this is our cargo for today's mission and at the very end of of this consist there is our lovely caboose so let me just quickly go back to station office because as always i forgot about something yeah uh, you guessed it. I, I forgot to, to actually accept the job. So let's accept this job. Uh, it's all lined up. Uh, I picked up the cars uh, previously. And I need to leave it at the 5i in Goods Factory in town. Which is pretty standard station for us. Uh, so. Let me just start the locomotive. Uh, do we have enough fuel? Yeah, we should have. Right. Uh, let's get going. Come on, come on, come on. Comes radio. It's on switch. Fantastic. Oh my goodness me. Right. Why are we not moving? Okay. I think I know why we are not moving. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's gonna be much easier to, to actually speed up right now. There we go. Right. So as you could probably see, the first thing to say about the caboose is that it has very, very strong uh independent brake, uh which is at the very end of the consist. And you need to turn it to the right direction in order to release it. Um so that is something that I definitely haven't done. Anyway, uh, with that said, I can also pair this locomotive. And can we now move to the caboose? Well, I can't guarantee that all the junctions are set. But for now, we can test a few of the features. So, the caboose gives us uh, quite a few benefits um, are they worth the price well you will have to say it for yourself or you will have to decide on your own in my personal opinion no but uh, various people will say yes or perhaps uh, they will be struggling to, to decide anyway uh, so we can always open the world map and as you can see, oh, there is extra marker at, at the very end of our consist. 
The problem is that with such a short consist as we have right now, it's pretty pointless. Oh, uh, yeah, it, it's it's not exactly the most accurate thing in the world, uh, which is another uh, difficult thing. Anyway, at the very end of our consist, there is that uh, red square, and that indicates our uh, caboose. Obviously, uh, we can teleport to such caboose. As you can see, if, if we press the left mouse button, uh, we will get a jump to, to the caboose. And, and we can just jump between caboose and, and our locomotive. Uh, however, aiming at, uh, at those items or at those vehicles uh, while in motion and, and while your consist is so short, is pretty uncomfortable so uh, definitely there is some more work to to be done if if this feature is is going to be any any useful uh if if you will get any long train like uh, if you remember two episodes back when i've been trying to um to pretty much deliver like a three or four jobs uh, to to the same station it was like a super long train yes the caboose could be very very useful in such situation however in order to pull such train you need very strong locomotive so again i would say caboose is a good addition at a very very late game um, in at the stage where i am in the game where where i can only drive uh, steam locomotive and uh, and shunter a caboose is absolutely useless I, i'm not going to lie uh, uh, when i bought it uh, i thought yeah it's gonna be fun but when i thought about it it is it like worth it to to actually have it i quickly realized that well it's a massive waste of money i just spent a huge chunk of my savings just to buy something that I won't really use not gonna lie anyway apart from uh, apart from those things that that I've already described uh, as we are in the right tracks for now I think it's safe to to jump into the caboose itself so let's look deeper into what's inside and and perhaps we will find some some good values uh, that that will uh, compensate for general like extra weight that we are actually pulling so inside you can find obviously working doors you can keep opening them uh, pretty much half of the windows are working so you can open uh, various windows and uh, there are also plenty of lockers that you can open close some drawers <coughs> and there is absolute ton of various drawers uh, cabinets and lockers so that is a good thing about uh, about the caboose uh, as you can see i got uh, i got some some books stored here however i think i've put much more things in and and are they actually saving well some of the things have saved uh, definitely but some of the books that i put on this shelf vanished and i will probably find them in in one of those lost and found uh, buildings which which is not exactly good however my wallet uh, lighter um what else uh, oh radio is gone oh yeah I, I i have a radio on me uh locomotive remotes yeah uh, you can safely store it here on on that charger uh, it's really nice to to actually have it uh, it will keep your uh, locomotive fully charged so that's that's one of the nice things about uh, about this whole place uh what else well you get career manager uh i'm not sure why it's there uh, because let's be honest uh, if you run out of fuel 
in anything. On your way to a next station, career manager is going to kill you financially. I, I, I really don't see a reason why you would have career manager. Especially that it doesn't give you any actual benefits. It's not that this one is actually cheaper or, or something. Nope. Uh, nothing like that. It's exactly the same price. And probably that's that's the worst thing about it. If if this career manager would actually be cheaper than than the one that that you can find on any station, it would actually be useful. But other than that, it's just I don't know. You just have it. Yeah, you you have career manager. You can pay the fees, uh, buy licenses, or check your stats while performing a job. Even though it's it's not exactly the safest way to do so, because as you can see, I have completely no control over my train. Uh, well, or at least I can't see what's happening in front of my train. So unless I'm absolutely sure that entire route is set, uh, and unless I'm traveling at a very low speed because I can't uh, keep an eye on, on speed limits, uh, it's absolutely useless to spend your time in here. Uh, what I'm doing right now is taking a great risk because as soon as my train will speed up I am running at a great risk of actually derailing. Uh, it is working somehow uh, and for now my train is holding like a stable speed. I'm not sure if, if that's uh, like an extra effect from the caboose that that it will allow me to, to keep a stable speed or, or something. When I've been running my shunter with only a caboose, um, it wasn't acting like that. Uh, for some reason, right now, I am pretty much traveling at, at a stable speed without even modifying anything, uh, which is surprising. But uh, we are on pretty even uh, part of the tracks. Right, let's get back to the caboose itself. Uh, we can obviously climb on, on top of those oak spaces. And there is a big problem with it. As you can see, uh, my head is actually clipping through the roof. So I can use X button to, to place myself in that sitting position that was designed for um, for the actual uh, like um, steam locomotives. So we can look through the windows. Uh, but those windows are not exactly lined up correctly and when you crouch which i've done just now my head is way below the window so again it's it's not actually helping oh and now i clipped through through the roof completely so yeah uh there is some adjustments to be done in in this place because there's there's absolutely no reason for you to to be standing on those platforms uh, because you can't see anything anyway uh, pretty much the only use for this uh, caboose that I have right now is the fact that I have independent brake so if I decide I can just stop my train uh, because yeah this brake is absolutely ridiculous just look at this i'm still on throttle and i'm slowing the train down okay let's release the brake and let's let the train uh, travel forward uh, right the question is where i'm going to travel uh, because I need to jump into the locomotive and keep an eye on the junctions. Because I'm absolutely not sure if the junctions are set. And in fact, they are not. Uh, if I wouldn't jump into locomotive right now, I would probably end up at Harbour and Town. Which is completely opposite direction from where I want to be. Uh, not to mention that I can't aim. Ooh. Come on, come on, come on.
Come on. Oh my goodness me. There we go. Now it's changed. Right, so I can go back to, to my locomotive. Uh, world map. Uh, not, not locomotive. I can go back to... Uh, to the caboose. Right. Uh, I really don't know what to say about... Uh, about the caboose itself. It's it's like uh, having a mobile home with you. Um, it's kind of cute, definitely. Uh, it's interesting idea. Uh, it increases the range of, of your remote controller, which is eventually another reason why you would carry this, this extra 22 tons uh, of cargo. Because that's how much caboose uh, weights. Other than that, it serves absolutely no purpose and in my opinion, it's a huge waste of money. Um, like, you have to spend 25 grand for this thing. And the only use for it is that you can throw your shovel in. Where I never struggled for space in my inventory in the first place. And there's pretty much way too many cabinets, drawers and, and other shelves to actually store everything like there's absolutely too much of everything uh, I don't know uh, well it's it's really nice looking uh, wagon definitely it's uh, it has that uh, western style uh, or wild west uh, style uh, but other than that there's, there's nothing nothing specific to it like it will definitely be useful when when you will be pulling very long consist. But again, that's an end game thing. Uh, when you buy it mid game, you've just wasted 25 grand. Uh, that that's my personal opinion about about uh, the caboose. Um, there's really no reason to to, to have it. Uh, right. Is there anything else uh, to say about it? <laughs> really not. It's it's just just extra cargo. Uh, I'm really tempted to eventually find a uh, steamer and put some coal into this fireplace, light it up, and check if it's working. Uh, for example, if I can put a kettle, if if I can find any, um, throw some cup and, and make myself a coffee or tea. Uh, that that would be very very useful, I guess. <laughs> Other than that, yeah, really, really, uh, it's it's a huge waste of money. It looks cute. It looks uh, really uh, really interesting when when you have it at the end of your train, uh, especially for a screenshot. Uh, but as I said, uh, and I'm gonna repeat myself uh, over and over again, it's a huge waste of money. Uh, Anyway, if, if, if you finish the game, if you pretty much bought everything, every single license, uh, if you got uh, every single loco, uh, or if you are using very, very long trains, yes, definitely uh, go for a caboose. Uh, it's really fun to have it. And you can pretty much store everything inside. Uh, you got more than enough cabinets. Uh, you can store your shovel or a golden shovel. Um, but unless there are any things that you can actually like find and, and store them inside of this caboose, I, I, I don't really see any any point of, of getting it. It's it's nice like a novelty item I guess, but that's it. Really, there's there is not much to it. And and, and that's that's a shame. I I have to say that that's a shame. Right, we are speeding up dangerously. Well, I wouldn't say dangerously. This entire route is, is pretty fast. Uh, but definitely... Oh, I could even... Can I speed up? Uh, let's see. Come on, come on, come on. I hope I won't derail. Uh, thankfully, I'm, I'm using shunter. And shunter is not the particularly the fastest uh, of the locos. Uh, it has a speed limit of, of 70. Uh, that's that's how much the engine can do. 
And as you can see, yeah, I, I've traveled quite a long chunk of, of this route uh, without even worrying about, about my safety. Uh, perhaps it's because I, I selected a pretty easy route, which, well, uh, in, in this region there is pretty much no danger at all. Uh, and this is a very fast uh, section where pretty much the only danger can happen on, on this junction where, uh, where I need to be paying some sort of attention. Anyway, let's jump back to, to our locomotive because there's, there's really not much to... Uh, not much more to say about the caboose itself, so sitting there would be a huge waste of time. Let's just finish this job. Let's focus on uh, on on the road ahead, and I guess that's that's how we are going to, to wrap up this episode. I let you decide uh, if if you uh, find uh, Cabo's uh, interesting choice, uh, if you find Cabo's uh, a useful item in in the game. In my opinion, it has been added a little bit too early, and uh, there is really not much to it. Uh, perhaps maybe if instead of having like a standard career manager if if the career manager that uh, that's inside uh, would give you like a, some sort of um, let's say discount yeah that would be very very useful across various levels to to actually get the caboose uh, but for now yeah really i i am struggling to to actually say that this is a very good item um, definitely someone put a lot of work into it and from from the external look i have to say it looks impressive it, it looks really nice uh, even though the style doesn't exactly fit the game uh, because having like a uh, Wild West or Western style uh, caboose with uh, like Eastern European style uh, locomotives is is perhaps not the best idea. Oh well. Uh, what's the speed limit? There we go. Anyway, uh, I'll let you decide because I, I'm I'm really speechless uh, at this point. Uh, while I like how how it looks externally, um, I like some of the functionalities like um, storage space and and perhaps uh, the ability to to charge your remote controller even if you are using like a day night mode uh, which which was one of my issues with with the game recently uh, but eventually that's not officially a bug uh, it will definitely be much more useful when when the day night uh, cycle will be officially in the game because uh, then charging your remote during the night will will definitely be a game changer uh, but for now, the caboose is absolutely useless and a huge waste of money, unless unless you are using D6 and uh, unless you are uh, taking very very long uh, consists. Right, uh, we are actually approaching a goods factory in town. Uh, we are on the last final stretch, uh, I think. It took us a little bit longer than than we should, uh, mostly because uh, the train was traveling on its own with quite low speed. I'm, I'm not going to lie; I, I didn't even pay attention to um, to to use the optimal speed and and control the train in in the most optimal way. Uh, it, it would be actually pretty hard to do so uh, while traveling at the very last. Um, wagon of, of the train so oh uh, a bit too much throttle perhaps some sand will help oh come on you there we go there we go come on come on you can do it yeah there we go it's gonna go now Uh, 
and we should see the tunnel in in just a few seconds I think it's right behind this bend come on come on uh, there it is I think no not yet no. Where's oh there it is right so that's the tunnel all we have to do now is to get rid of uh, the caboose obviously because it's going to be a bit problematic to to actually take it with us so what I'm gonna do I will slow down significantly slow down in fact okay and I will leave the caboose on B2 as siding will I well yeah I will uh, let's let's just drive in let's pull the train in there we go uh, let's stop now let's quickly de detach the caboose come on you oh stop already there we go uh, let's take these out yeah it's it's pretty much adding just extra steps to to my way uh, because if I would just reverse this consist into into the siding then obviously the caboose would be stuck at the end of the train uh, so that's another reason why you perhaps don't want to have a caboose with you uh, just yet uh, it, I don't know I really don't know what to think about it uh, initially I was very excited because that's that's something new in the game but when you think about it it's yeah it, it's absolutely useless I I'm not gonna lie like functionality is not there uh, it's it's a good novelty item uh, it will make your train look good uh, but definitely it, it doesn't really add up uh, the ability to spawn it uh, anywhere you like is is actually kind of useful but I don't know Perhaps, yeah, perhaps when you crash, uh, when you want to, like, service your locomotive on the go, uh, you can just spawn your, um, like, a, uh, 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 caboose and, and then, um, and then use that, uh, career manager. Yeah, that, that's pretty much the only use I can think of. But, again, it's, it's very expensive option, so... If if you have ability to to actually get to uh, get to the station somehow, uh, it's still better to to crawl into into that station and eventually uh, use career manager there or uh, uh, or actually service your locomotive manually because it's much much cheaper option. So. I really don't see any use for uh, for that device. Um, I don't know, uh, guys. Let let me know uh, in the comments section down below the video. What do you actually think about the caboose? Uh, because from my personal point of view, it was a huge waste of money. Um, it was definitely interesting thing to to have for a short while, but that's pretty much it. Right, uh, I can actually turn this off. Uh, hopefully, this train will make it to, to the proper siding and I can finish the job. Come on, I think I pushed it hard enough. Okay, we are rolling. Light speed. Well, perhaps not, but... Come on, come on. Oh, don't tell me that you are going to stop. Ooh, it's slowing down. It's slowing down. 
Yikes. I have a feeling that I pushed it too too lightly and, and it's gonna stop too early. And then I'm going to be really, really angry. Oh no, don't you even dare. Just roll in. Okay, there she goes. There she goes. Lovely. And there we go. The train has stopped. Right, so we can give the task and and let's see if we make it on time. Well, that is interesting. Why the bonus time is so long? That is a good question. Let's see. Goods factory in town. Machine factory in town, 46 minutes. A sawmill, 33 minutes. Goods factory in town, machine factory in town, 46 minutes. Nope. Um, I'm not sure. I, I, I just have a small feeling that 33 minutes for a three drop of shunting. Wow. That's interesting. That is very interesting. 33 minutes to do the shunting. Right. I'm not sure if that's a side effect of uh, of having the caboose or perhaps is this some sort of a game bug, but perhaps it has just increased my uh, time available to, to finish the task. Uh, perhaps, I don't know. Nah, I think it's just a coincidence. Uh, right, anyway. Uh, that was the caboose and that was the first episode when I'm having this lovely red thing with me. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below the video what do you actually think about uh, about the caboose, about its functionality, uh, did you actually enjoy it, um, the ride in inside the caboose. <laughs> anyway. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you want to get informed about my new content, hit that notification bell button and don't forget to share your comments down below. Have a great day and see you all later. Later. Out.